Welcome okay, everyone to Jonas with Just a Commentary. So we're gonna react to a video. This video title is a bit who it says here the deadliest food in Asia plus poop soup in Thailand. I'm not quite sure what this is gonna be about, but I'm very much um, eager and curious to watch this video, of course. Thank you so very much for requesting that I react to it. Don't forget to subscribe to Juno Switch Just Commentary. Press the bell next to the word subscribe so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified about it, of course. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Chiang Mai. Oh, that's a nice view there. Oh my god! What? Oh my god, what the heck? I've eaten a lot of crazy food in my travels. A still beating cobra heart, rat meat in the Mekong Delta, and one time I even <laughs> ate some fruit. So, that's not bad. <laughs> You look like a mother bird feeding her young. <laughs> Today I'm putting my life on the line to take food reviewing to a whole new level with raw pig wow. blood soup and buffalo. I'll just let her say it. Buffalo chip just soup. Yeah, thank you. It's hard to say raw why pig this blood created and is still prevalent today, but in northern Thailand, it's been around for hundreds of years. Is there any risk involved in eating the raw pig's blood? Soup? Of course, there's a risk. Yeah, eating. A raw soup is your own risk and the people from the north part of Thailand after they eating a raw food they lost their hearing yeah and a few weeks ago the north part of Thailand further the province called Nam they found out that they found some parasite inside their leg. So someone was eating the soup every day? No, just one time it could happen. <laughs> Horse must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit in order to kill any parasites, especially Trichinella spiralis, a parasite that can lead to intense muscular pain, heart damage, kidney malfunction, or even death. Why are people eating this if it's dangerous? Yeah. Because in the old days, it's the belief that if they're eating raw food, they make them strong. But whatever doesn't kill me can only make me That is strong, stronger. At least, I hope that's the case. Uh, oh my guys. <laughs> Oh, I might get very cringy for this video, and I do apologize in advance. Oh my gosh! So we woke up bright and early to head to this countryside market. We have arrived at a tiny market on the edge like, of really? like, Mai, and from the pig body blood? Pig blood soup, but we can't have any soup without any blood. So we're gonna search for some blood, but along the way, see what other Whoa. things we can find in this market, as well as maybe some yummy snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there are some foods I will not try, okay? There are some things I would... There are some things I would not try. Ooh, this looks nice. Sadi Cup. He's got his little steaming device. He's got some beautiful rice batter. He dices it up like a pizza. Puts in a little filling. Wraps it up. And that wow. is delicious. If you're going to eat uh, pig blood soup, it's good to have something in your stomach. <laughs> you better. Blood. <laughs> that isn't raw blood. He's going to put additional Ooh. toppings on the side. You are not. Coconut cream? Is that coconut cream? Is it very cream? sweet? Oh, wow. It looks sweet. That quickly went from dessert to something else. Let's give it a try. <laughs> dessert to something else. Is it sweet? I said they put lettuce there. Whoa, there's a lot happening there. It is sweet ah. coconut sauce with I was like, inside that is savory and then roasted garlic. I don't know where this roasted is. Roasted garlic. Yeah, the lettuce. I don't want the lettuce coming in. I don't know if I'm getting it right, but he smiled at me. So down here we have our meat section. And look, as with most markets, Ooh. people are just more. I love fun. meat. I, I love meat, is. but the whole idea of raw. Bring out the boringness in people. But like right sushi. Here, we have a stinky treasure. We have some fermented fish we've all been in situations where we oh can't my speak gosh. Uh, the language but we want to smell something can i smell this yes fermented fish a nice big whiff wow that, that was more intense that was oh. cold oh the flies immediately the flies oh my like, yes gosh. it is potent but it actually it doesn't it doesn't smell bad and that's not going to be eaten alone it's just going to be paired with some other soups with other ingredients to just add to the guys there's some food i would not nice eat fermented punch to another dish and we're headed to the meat section and here's the poultry and something fun you might notice here <laughs> this chicken is our first of all oh wow these chickens have put themselves <laughs> in a headlock i didn't even realize that at first also they look really yellow <laughs> and that's not natural that's because they've spread turmeric onto the skin yeah, that's good 
make them look more fresh and bite some of the gamey flavor right now. Yeah, it's good to mix turmeric. A chicken, like no big deal, chopping it right It's up, good to add turmeric to your consumption. Oh, yeah, Whatever you're preparing, you could so add turmeric. Kind of make that doll kind of nice soup. and yeah, turmeric is very good for you. Uh, <laughs> right, we are in search of the pig blood. Oh no, is is the blood gone? <laughs> is the blood gun sold out? Oh no. Well, I guess that's going to be the end of our episode today. I know, right? Come back next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We thought she had blood, but she doesn't, she doesn't have blood, actually. You so have to go somewhere else and get it. It's a runtime left. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> This guy's hilarious. Okay, no, just kidding. Uh, they found some blood. There's some blood Ooh. here. Does she have some blood, really? Oh, she's gonna lift it up. Look at this. Is it uh, in bags? Uh, What's with that? Wow. Oh, that's a that's, that's a, a unique. Look at kind of innovation there, the fan. Scab, some partially coagulated bits on top of this pig is probably from this morning. If you're eating this soup, you you have to have fresh pig blood. We're buying the blood right now. Guys, I'm gonna be cringy for like this video, okay? For I'm gonna be cringy. This. There's, there's no way I can watch this with a straight face. No, this I'm gonna be I oh, I'm very curious to see what they're gonna do to it to dress it up, how they're gonna add some flavors, and most of all, curious about how it's safe. But let's go find out. What? <laughs> oh my gosh! Do all ties in this, or is this like a special from a village specifically? Like, is this consumed only in a specific village and not all of Thailand? restaurant where the owner's mother has been making her famous raw buffalo larb for over 20 years we have wow. arrived at our destination the yes. place they are making the raw pig's blood soup i was told there's going to be some extra surprises today all i know about Shh. is the blood soup which is enough of a surprise for me but what else is it looks like corn beef uh, spleen soup spleen okay. and uh, sounds good and uh, buffalo chip juice soup huh say it again a buffalo chip Juice. Cheat juice, buffalo cheat juice, right, soup. Inside the intestine, we make the soup out of that. Oh man! Can we ask the owner really quick? Can we? Oh my god! No! Oh my gosh! Is it from a live? And didn't die. Oh! It's a raw meal today. She be a serious. She's not eating it, but she's eating it. She's not eating it. Oh my gosh. Boom. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. What was the intestine? The intestine. Oh my gosh. Doing it alone. To prepare the soup, they first clean it and remove any gamey flavors by squeezing it with a bundle of lemongrass. They then add deep fried pork skin, fried garlic, shallots, offals, and pickled garlic juice. I am here with the owner of this fine establishment. Thank you so much for inviting us. I Mama I loves it. Nervous. Mama is not for to just come, come, come. Which didn't make me feel any better. As with most kind of out there, unusual foods, there's always alcohol involved. <laughs> yeah, I can. Oh, <laughs> you gotta drink your conscience away. <laughs> I've been told that the sheriff of this area has eaten here three times having the blood soup and it's still it's still alive it's still, al it's still alive so no problem the worst that happens i get sick i lose like 20 pounds and i look hot you know what i'm saying the new erwin you saw Ooh. <laughs> look at that Ooh, it is chunky. It is full of magnificent chunks, and I like that. I like it like with texture. Do, 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 do. Campbell's with chunks. Okay. Campbell's with chunks. We just eat it? Yeah. And then chew yeah. it? Yeah. And then what happens? Swallow it. Okay. So you know <laughs> Swallow exactly it. How, this is <laughs> how does it taste? Mm. You got some herb? It's actually good. This is really blowing my mind. It's a little spicy. It's perfect spice. Yeah, it's, it's, you, you must have spice. On the fact that, oh, I Give that spice, bro. Uh, it's better to be focused on the flavor. And there's spice. There's a ton of herbs, lemongrass coming through, and then tons of crunchy bits in there so, too. So the taste is actually good. We'll try some more. 
It looks like it is interesting, but the whole idea of raw blood from a pig, I'm not sure if I can I'm swallow this. Alright, we both think it's yummy. <laughs> this is the most dangerous food yummy. I've ever eaten, but it tastes pretty good. It doesn't Deadliest taste funny food. at all. There's no ironiness. Ironiness. <laughs> and ladies, you don't need to really worry about messing up your red lipstick when you eat this. Oh, oh! Yeah, vampire. <laughs> vampire. Yeah. What we're ending with, why do people eat this special buffalo thing? Because people like to eat it. It's oh, it's cooked. Will the buffalo juice soup actually taste like shit? No, I like it. <laughs> We've made it through the blood round. And oh. It tasted great, uh, but I won't know the full repercussions until 12 to 24 hours from now. What we have for dessert today is the buffalo the shit. The dessert. Soup. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the, the buffalo shit. She just shoot. Shoot, oh gosh. Crap. Crap. Buffalo just soup. Yeah, thank you. I don't understand how this works. Where is that in a piece of intestine? Intestine and then. So it's boiled. In the so they've they've like sealed so, off the intestine. Yes. They boiled it. They it. And then they, they cut it. Oh and Jesus! Yes. Jesus. And then they <laughs> mix with the boy uh, inner. These sealed off. That's something like what we call black pudding. However, we clean the intestine. Up the partially digested juices from when the buffalo was eating grass. After boiling, the intestines are slit open, allowing the juices to pour out. I never <laughs> thought I would do this oh on my, my show, but my rule on my show is always give other people oh, a reason. No. With, within reason. With the poop stock complete, they add some more spices, dry chicken, MSG, cilantro, buffalo innards, and buffalo bile. I'm trying to be open-minded, but this is like so far from anything I've ever had. I, and I can't even see it at all. Sometimes I see people eat certain foods and I understand like <laughs> a long time ago they didn't have a lot of food they didn't have something else. This one I just it's confounding. I can't figure out why. Oh my gosh. But maybe it's gonna taste great. Alright, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Cut. <laughs> Chon. Chon, I got some more rum, everybody. And we're about to eat I thought blood was my biggest concern today. And, uh, I mean, excitement. I thought that was my greatest excitement, and now I'm even more excited <laughs> for this poop. I'm gonna give it a sniff test. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it doesn't smell at all. Poop soup! So it's got a ton of land grass and a ton of digestive grass that the buffalo ate. Here, we're not going in full force. We're not getting a, a big spoonful. Do I need more bile? How much? She told me to put in... Wait, pour it all? Oh, oh my god, you <laughs> not that sad. I'm funny <laughs> They like the bitter flavor? Yeah, they like oh the my gosh, nothing goes to waste. A, yes. a cool weather thing. Don't do that. Poop. Like soup. No, no left hand? No left hand, guys. Because the left hand is, is that's for pooping. And we, we would never go near poop, would we? Okay. No. Dip. Dip. Oh my god. Oh, you put like a busload of bile in there. This tastes like pure oh bile. Oh my god. I cannot. The idea of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you gotta chase it with alcohol. The good thing is that uh, it will not have too much of pie size Listen, because buffaloes eat grass and stuff like that, but still. Oh. Yo. Have you ever gotten. I would never think that such a, 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 a recipe or meal exists. They took the intestine from the buffalo, tied the knot with the content of the buffalo's crap in it, boil it, and then mix different recipes in it. That is what you call exotic eating. That is what you call organic eating. That is organic. Oh my gosh. No way, Jose! Yeah. I'm not trying that one. There are some meals I would not try. I cannot mentally picture uh, eating this. Sure I like the blood one. The blood one is great. Yeah, give me some more of that booze. I think this one's not for me. Oh, uh, it don't. It, uh, it's beautiful. Well, it's here. beautiful. Uh, very cool. oh, it's creative. Uh, I would say it's creative, but it's not cool. something that I would. It's a no no. Hey, I mean the poop soup. One of the most videos I have ever made. We are out here, son. An amazing, oh my experience. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys learned oh. something. I just want to say thank you so much.
much. Uh, <laughs> right. Amazing host, and I feel so touched that we were able to come into your. Whoa, your yo, again, Very I'm not cool, laughing. <laughs> Surreal I'm not laughing the, the 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 cultural part of it. I'm laughing the whole idea of, of the force of it. This poop soup <laughs> in the Western they world. Poop soup is funny. I mean that is hilarious. These are not you know Vietnam, it's not something that we are custom or I'm at all custom with. So please understand. Poop soup is not the bike experience which is so good and essential to Vietnam. You learn all about the city oh and you eat a ton of delicious food. Oh, that is a great video of requests, of course. Thank you for requesting it. Oh. Thank you for requesting it. Oh. Definitely, I'm going to subscribe now. Subscribe and I'm going to press the bell next to the word subscribe. Yeah. Definitely. All. 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 <laughs> I'm subscribing to his channel, of course. Thank you so very much for requesting, guys. That was a weird one, I will tell you straight. That was very weird. It's not something at all. If someone offered me poop soup, I, I you cannot blame me if I say no way, Jose, I want poop soup. That was amazing. I would not I don't think I'll try it. But the whole idea that this is actually a recipe somewhere around the world, specifically in Thailand, that is amazing. This is what you call purely exotic organic eating. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh purely exotic thank you guys for requesting this video hey like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you want me to react to the video don't forget guys please leave a comment below i will try my utmost best to react to it okay thank you so very much bye guys